Good morning, everyone. This is Chris with Sicker Fab. Every morning has been like this. It seems like this week, ultra foggy, but we got to get started early so we can get some of these side marker uh, overlays knocked out. This is a vehicle that's equipped with standard LED headlights. And when you're equipped with standard LED headlights, it means that you have halogen taillights. We've already put an overlay on the halogen taillight uh, right there. Today, what we're gonna do is knock out these side markers. You can see there's a bar right here and a bar right here. We're just doing one strip that'll knock those out. When light is shined at them directly at night, you'll still be able to see it, but it'll kind of knock out that eye-catching red in the back and that eye-catching uh, orange in the front. We have multiple films. I will be doing a video that showcases all these different films. Some of them are really cool. Some of them like diffract and move the light around a little, make cool patterns and whatnot. And some of them just have a different finish to them like stealth or they have like an ultra high metallic pearl effect. So these side markers in the front are the same as uh, any other Bronco. All Broncos share the same front side markers. We'll just go over and overlay that again. What you'll need is our vinyl. A, I encourage you to get one of our squirt bottles or um, make a bowl of soapy water. Soapy water being almost all water and just a few drops of dish soap. Let me pull out our bottle. It's like two bucks on our site uh, if you don't have one already. Filled it like all the way up to here with water and then just a few drops of uh, dish soap. It helps us, um, one, uh, not commit to the initial alignment. So if you're slightly off, you can kind of just move it around or peel it back up really easily. Um, also, it acts, uh, the water acts like as a transport mechanism for the uh, air that gets stuck under the vinyl so we can squeegee that out. Um, if you don't have a squeegee, I recommend that you get one. Uh, you can use your fingers on this. Uh, the only other thing I'd recommend keeping around is a heat source, uh, especially if you're doing this out in the cold, you have to get everything up to temp. Ideally, you'll be 70 to 80 degrees when you apply this. It's probably right under 70 degrees right now. Let me check it out. Yep, it's right at 70 degrees in North Fort Myers right now, even in December. Um, so that heat source, once you get everything aligned properly, you can use that heat source to apply light heat, heat that won't burn your hands so you don't that's my, my judge. If it burns your hands, it might be a little bit too much for the vinyl, might stretch out the vinyl and whatnot. Um, but it dries up that water and it increases the um, adhesion. Uh, it really activates that adhesive along with pressure. We'll get it to stick down. And when you get to the front side markers, they are slightly bigger in some places. You kind of want to push them around the edges uh, just so it, it grips the edges and it won't come up and then you'll be able to run through car washes and whatnot and have no issues. So let me put this on the stand and then we'll start with the installation of these rear side markers. So for these back ones uh, and the front ones actually, you can use that soapy water mix. You can use uh, a detail spray that doesn't have any wax that won't leave any residue on this or um, just about anything. You can use a glass cleaner as well. So clean that application area up. I'm just gonna, you know, clean the whole tail light up. And then we won't have to worry about where that vinyl goes. Uh, it won't get anything dirty on the back of it. I have recently washed the back of my hands because we will be applying this vinyl and touching the back side of it. So grab your vinyl. For these, you're gonna be using these strips. And these two strips are the same for each side. So it doesn't matter which one you get. There is a light breeze. I'm gonna pull this back just a little bit, spray it, spray the application area too. I'm doing this because if the breeze catches this vinyl, like it is right now, I don't want it to fold back on itself and stick. So I just spray the whole thing down and we don't have to worry about the vinyl being into a condition where we can't use it because it's stuck on itself. Now this strip is longer than the area we're trying to cover by a little bit. Now, you can put that extra material towards the bottom, you can put it towards the top, or you can even it out. Whatever looks better to you. I'm gonna go a little bit more down towards the bottom than the top. I think ideally we're just gonna cut it right off right there. I'll take a mental note so that I do the same on the other side. 
And actually this customer wants the vehicle left with stealth. So I'm not gonna apply the other side. I'll just show you guys one side here. I'm taking my squeegee and just pushing all that soapy water out. Even though it's not super hot right now, that's about it. I've gotten all the water out. These are felt tip squeegees, so they don't scratch anything. They're also available on our site, if I didn't mention that. So there we go, that's really how easy it is. Um, let me go do the front side marker with you guys, and then I'll show you an overview of the entire thing. All right, here are our overlays for the front side marker. We've got driver right here and passenger right here. We're working on the driver's side. Go ahead and grab that. Spray it as I take it off again so it doesn't get stuck onto itself. If we have a breeze, and spray the application area, clean it off. I'm gonna get in the grooves around the side of it as well. Okay. Gonna hit it with a little bit more spray. And then align the pattern up. All right, I'll take my squeegee. I'm holding one part of it while I push up. There's a lot of soapy water under this one. Gotta get all that water out. Move it back in place. So at this point, we have two options, either I keep this in the sun and then get it nice and hot. I push down the sides, or this is when I take that light heat from a hair dryer or a heat gun and I do it up. I knock out all the corners, get them nice and warm. And all you have to do is just push those corners around the edge. Because my home's being uh, worked on right now, I don't have a plug that's really close to this vehicle. So I'm just gonna wait until the sun comes out, bakes it up, and then I'll push down the edges. All right, let's get an overview of how this looks. All right, here's the vehicle on the passenger side, which we have not installed overlays. We'll go around the vehicle twice, once with the lights off and then once with the lights on. Pretty subtle, but you can see knocked out that reflector in the back. You can definitely tell in the front. All right, let's reach in. Let's turn the parking lights on. I'll show you that you can still see these lights. You see the red right in the middle. The reflectors don't light up on the side so you'd have to have someone shining light directly at those but they will be visible if you look at our other video i think we have some some pictures or some video of that and some pictures of that you can see right in the front you can see it compared to the other side that has no tint on it at all all right guys thank you for all your support thank you for all of your uh, contributions, uh, comments, uh, liking these videos, subscribing to our YouTube channel, hitting that bell notification icon so you can see the latest and greatest things we're working on. Um, I'm trying to work through all your suggestions. I've uh, been doing a decent job of it, but we are getting tons of great feedback. I'm trying to knock out as much as possible. Uh, keep it coming our way. Uh, if there's anything else you guys like to see, just let me know. I'm sure we'll have another video before the weekend's up. Thank you so much, and thank you, uh, AC Joe, for lending you, lending us this vehicle for about a week now. Um, hopefully, we can get a couple things knocked out and get a return to him. See what he thinks, and see if he wants some more. Um, all right, have a great weekend.